Hey there, are you guys looking for your store logs or your audit logs in your big commerce store? You're in luck. I'm going to go over that in this video. My name is Cal. I'm a developer and a store owner just like you. And let me share your screen. Let me share my screen and show you where that is. All right. So in your big commerce store, you want to go into the back end and go to settings and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And just a little bit up from the bottom, there's this one that says store logs right here under the advanced grouping. And when you come in here, there's not a lot showing here in this demo store that I'm showing you guys, but there's two different tabs, right? And the, the system log tab is going to show you events that weren't done by a human. So maybe it's apps interacting with your site. Probably there's going to be a lot of that in here. Um, you can see that this is where like some shipping quotes are happening for our shipper HQ. But then there's this other tab over here, the staff action log. So this is where it's showing you events that were triggered by humans and i'll tell you it's not going to it's not going to show everything it doesn't log every single thing that every every single person does but chances are you know if something's majorly wrong and you really need to figure out who even logged in that day or you know other types of things then you can certainly do that so when you come in here you can first of all you can filter down to the exact person that you want to follow up on or there's this filter by action search and so the way this works is you if you want to see all the people that logged in for example you could copy that successfully logged in here and do a search and it's only going to show you login events you can also say like if you're trying to figure out what happened to this category that's been deleted or something you can copy the category name here so the the target of this action and you can paste that in here and you'll see all the times that that category has been updated or if, if it got deleted, it'll, it will most likely show a deletion event. There are some quirks to it. It doesn't record every single thing that happens. And if you do a search for something like this, updated category, where it's the action, not the, not the target of that action, it doesn't seem to want to filter on that but you can filter on the specific target of that updating event that happens, right? So you can, you can filter by who it is. You can filter, you know, to a degree on what exactly happened. And hopefully that gives you enough information to, to kind of piece together what happened. So hopefully this helps. Give me a like if it does. And this is a great time to say that the, it, it you know, it's, it's great if we can figure out what happened and try and train people not to do that again. But you might want to really consider using an app like Rewind to back up all of your categories and your products and give you something that you can roll back to if something happens next time. Rewind is very cost effective for what you get. And so highly recommend it. All right, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you guys are just getting started in your e-commerce journey, be sure to check out my course. That and some other links are here below the video. Join our free community, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.